Not much is known of where she came from. It's theorized that Giada is far older than she appears since no new angels were created since being sealed away. But regardless of how it happened, Giada appeared at the Mezio Orphan Hall and very quickly got swept up by the Cabaretti talent scouts and got put directly in front of the second in command, Ginny Fey. The two quickly became close and Jetmer would declare Giada his greatest treasure. Being a talented singer herself, Giada very quickly fit in with the rest of the Cabaretti's group of starlets, socialites, and ingenues. But unlike the others, Giada is an angel. With a touch and a wish, she could turn raw sewage into pure halo, and once the Cabaretti figured it out, they immediately hid her away, but eventually caved into their own greed in a time where halo was scarce. The font, as they would dub her, would go on to fuel the most lavish parties the family had ever thrown, whilst the other four families struggled, the Cabaretti would have business as usual. All Giada wanted was a family, though. She viewed her ability to make halo as a curse more than anything else. All of this culminated at the crescendo where she met Elspeth and Vivian, as they had come to save her from the adversary's agents. Giada would go on to sacrifice herself to empower Elspeth and become part of her sword, Luxior. Thanks to Giada, the angels were freed. Thank you so much for watching, and may your revels never end.